Rajiv Komineni, Embedded RF Business Development Manager. Today, I'll demonstrate the use of NFC for Bluetooth pairing. First, let's start with the layout. The MSP430 F5529 Experimenters Board is used as a microcontroller platform with a TRF7970 ATB NFC transceiver board connected to the RF1 and RF2 headers, with the board and the transceiver communicating via SPI. For Bluetooth connectivity, we are using the EZ430 RF2560 connected to the EZ RF header and is communicating with the MSP430 F5529 using a UART interface. For this example, we are using the Nexus S NFC-enabled smartphone to communicate using NFC to simplify the pairing process and Bluetooth for longer range communication once pairing is established. The TRF7970A supports all three NFC modes, reader writer, card emulation, and peer-to-peer. -peer. We are using ISO 14443B card emulation mode to pass the Bluetooth MAC address to the phone via the NFC. Once the connection is established, the Bluetooth serial port profile is used to control the LEDs on the experimenter's board. Upon power-up of the board, the MSP430 F5529 will request a Bluetooth MAC address from the EZ430 RF2560. This MAC address will be formatted in the end of message, which is emulated by the TRF7970A, drawing just about 3.5 microamps and waiting to be triggered by the RF field of the phone. We have written an Android application which allows for Bluetooth communication. When the app is open, a message appears requesting you to place your tag close to the phone. When the phone is placed near the NFC antenna on the TRF7970 ATB, an interrupt is triggered to indicate RF detected. The Nexus S and the TRF7970A will now exchange initialization parameters, and then the Nexus S will read the end of message, which contains a Bluetooth MAC address. Once this is complete, this will be indicated on the LCD screen of the experimenter's port. The MAC address will also be shown in the Android application, as well as a pop-up message indicating the Bluetooth connection has been established. At this point, our simplified NFC pairing is complete, and we can use a slider bar in the application to control the LEDs on the experimenter's board via Bluetooth. You can also tap the middle of the screen to initiate a predefined LED sequence. For more information, including the application note, Android application, and MSP430 source code, please visit ti.com slash trf7978. Thanks for watching.